like all these trips, the we're not so focused on just shooting stuff. It's uh, we've been to Africa what nine, eight times, nine times, something nine, like that ten. now, and yeah. it's most of the trips. Well, in fact, all the trips are as much a vacation, and then that we do some hunting on. So if we shoot a couple of things, that's fine. Yeah, not a big, not a big deal. It's not about piling them up and mm -hmm. you know putting these big lists together. Um, it's about you know enjoying our time, getting some time off work, not going to the office, yeah. enjoying the people we're with, and you know we make more friends and memories than than we do trophy lists. So yeah. it's that's really what our trips are about. Welcome, yeah, all the way from Colorado. Long flight, and uh, yeah, we drove down today. And uh, why don't you tell the camera a little bit more of where you're from and uh, what we're going to hunt and what's the story behind everything? My Go name, ahead. <laughs> My name's Re <laughs> Rebecca McFarlane. I'm from Windsor, Colorado, and I'm here to hunt Cape Buffalo, and I'm super excited. And I'm here to observe. <laughs> Cheerleader. And, and maybe shoot a few spring bugs or whatever else happens. <laughs> All right, yeah. let's go out to the shooting range, get the rifle sighted in, right. then we're going to drag the roads and quickly clear it up so tomorrow morning we can pick up on a fresh buffalo track and then track okay. down a okay, buffalo. All right. Sounds good. Dive head first in it. Let's, let's go. It. Buffalo. All right. <laughs> So we got a couple of rifles we're going to be using. We got Becky's old reliable Thompson Center Icon and 6.5 Creedmoor that she's been using all over the world, or actually the whole family has. The uh, got it loaded with some uh, Hornady 147 grain uh, ballistic tips. I guess you call them yet. I still call them that anyways. And then uh, then we got the Weatherby 375H and H. That we got. Special load, loaded up, uh, 250 grain Hornaday, 
CX. I think they're called. So this would be the first time with these. So, but we dialed them in and had really good luck with them. So pretty excited to get them tried out here. Or she is. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Steel plate flew off. Okay, water, 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 water. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay. So you said it's basically in the vicinity of your first shot on the little paper, so it's it's good. Yeah, it's good enough. Yeah. You really have to that. The white paper. Yeah. Okay. okay, so we just finished off at the shooting range, put Becky through the paces. She never well, it was a long time ago she shot from the stick, so we just gave her a little exercise to put her under pressure. I think guns are sided in. So it's time. Let's go. <laughs> Well, we're headed out. We're getting out here early this morning. Uh, the sun's just coming up, so we're going to go see if we can find Becky her Cape Buffalo to complete the trifecta for the McFarlanes. <laughs> Super then, excited. Can't wait. Yeah. Mm. Then hopefully Brian will get on yeah. some spring bikes. Yeah, Different maybe we'll, colors, we'll see what we see. Who knows? See what the day brings. Welcome to South Africa. We start early because it's hot. Now we are going our way looking for the Daga boy. Hope we're gonna get the big one like we saw yesterday. So like right now we are already in the bush, like always. for buffalo we saw a herd way off to i think it was the north northwest i'm not sure the direction but uh a ton of blaze buck spring buck and well wildebeest elands trap hartebeest <laughs> all sorts of stuff down there there's uh plenty of animals around that's for sure
So uh, we went around the water hole, didn't see a track, maybe the other animals trampled the track down. We went into the bush and by luck we found the track where he came in early this morning, probably around uh, 2 o'clock. And then also the track where he's leaving. Now the wind is not in our favour, but the plan is just to find him, locate him, see if we can bump him. Maybe he turns and the, with the wind in our favour and we can make a plan from there on out. Looks like a heavy bull, the track is quite big. I like the impression. Let's go see. I am ready. <coughs> go find this big boy. We've got um, rounds in. You see this? This is the track. This is the way it came into the water. So, what I like about it is, just look at the beer size of that track. Okay, so this is a pass of some sort. It looks like a buffalo's butt. Looking at the ripples now, it might be one of a wildebeest or so as well. Give us a slip a couple times, so we'll stay on, see what happens. <laughs> Shoot him in the crease now. Right yes, 
Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, reload. I didn't. He didn't take it. Get off the sticks. Get off the sticks. Okay, take rest on my shoulder. It's the one under the tree, but don't shoot now. Okay, it's the very far right one. Wait. It's to the far right. Take your rifle off my shoulder. Okay, just hold on. It's the very front one. But wait, the other ones are going to pass now. Okay, let me just nominate him. Okay, it's... Still the front one. Yeah. Okay, uh, put it on set. It's getting light. I think what we have to do is we check it, assist it, and then go from there and make the plan. I know this is not what the ideal was, but he's in the thick stuff now. He's going to be waiting with his ass in one of this thick fall brush. We're not going to see him. We're going to walk past and he's going to charge us for sure. We've got the possibility of that. So I think... Well, <laughs> so I think um, we're going to mark that last piece of blood, go to the, to the road, and then head back to camp, come back tomorrow morning. It's just a safer option. It's to keep all of us safe at the end of the day. I feel like my shot placement was really good. I hit him hard. He's a really nice buffalo. Obviously not the what I wanted to have happen, so hopefully we'll come back and get him tomorrow. Let's head back to camp, relax. Tomorrow morning, first light, we're on the track again. So what's happening here, Zalmay? Tell us a bit. Um, I picked you guys up from the road because your vehicle, the truck, the hunting truck, is too far from you guys. So I went in my little Toyota Eat yours and I picked you guys up from the road. <laughs> what do you guys think about this? This is the best ride I've had. <laughs> Air conditioning, it's pretty nice. We, we, Becky got done shooting her bowl, so DJ called an Uber. <laughs> Took a while, but she finally showed up. So now we're heading into the bar. <laughs> What do you think of the Uber? Oh, the Uber was nice. Best looking Uber driver we've ever the, had. The Uber was a lot better than walking in too. <laughs> Didn't even ask for a tip. <laughs> uh, good morning. This is Luko Panding Safaris. We, uh, yesterday evening we wounded uh, Tiger Boy. So we see it was late. We didn't want our clients to get hurt. So early this morning we're gonna go and see where we saw the last blood and start trekking from there and see what is going to happen. We hope we're going to find him dead or if he's still alive, we're going to finish him off. We're headed back out to find my bull, go track it. We kind of backed out because um, it was getting dark and it wasn't safe for everyone. And so this morning we're going to head out and get on his trail and go get him and hopefully recover him. So we're going to head out and do that. We marked the spot where we last saw the blood last night, so we're heading to there. So hopefully within the next hour before the heat starts, we'll be done with pictures. Well, as you can see, there's no rifles. Our guard came very unprepared today, but we've got the machete to track down the buffalo. And just kosher today. <laughs> what do you think, <laughs> I <laughs> 
<laughs> um, I don't even know how we're so unprepared. Get your buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> we're so unprepared, and I am not going in with this. <laughs> Fresh on the track. <laughs> well, day two, we've spent uh, most of the day in the bush, other than the few extremely hot afternoon hours. But the trackers spent those hours uh, looking for Becky's bull. The, uh, she hit him well last night, kind of at last light. And then we tracked him for a while and then decided to let him go. And unfortunately, this morning, uh, got into the track and ended up uh, losing just all of a sudden lost blood and so it's kind of been a scrounge hunt from there looking for tracks or some type of sign of where he might have gone or maybe she went to water or something and uh, unfortunately no sign so hopefully maybe he's still in one of those sections or one of those blocks that we're, we've been in and uh, we'll pick up tomorrow and take a look and hopefully we'll cross paths with him who knows, maybe connect it back up with the herd or something. We can identify that and find them and maybe sort that out. But uh, it's kind of been a, a long day for everybody looking for a bull, but uh, hopefully tomorrow will go a lot better. So got to be optimistic and hope for the best. So here's to tomorrow. <laughs> well, we're hopeful Becky's bull is going to come into the water hole with the rest of them that we just saw. So, yes. But he didn't. So next best thing is we're going to have a helicopter come in and go look for him, see if we can find him. But coincidentally, we heard the lions were in, so we think we know where his location is at. <laughs> no. But we just got to get to him with the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> found a carcass, but he said it was an old, it had been there for a while, so, but gosh, I think we would see him, I just don't get it, so hopefully we'll get on the ground and go find him. <laughs> Saw a bunch of stuff just not a dead bull. <laughs> so, I don't know, we're gonna have to put some time on and cover some hours, but there's uh, definitely nothing moving that looked injured or was him, so. We just came off the chopper, we flew for about two hours and uh, we saw nothing. We think he's dead and lying underneath a bush and we can't see with the light reflecting down exactly that you know where the buffalo is lying so we rounded up the whole local team we're getting another couple of guys in we're just gonna spread out like a fan and push through and hopefully we can get him so let's try our best yeah this is pretty exciting <laughs> we're yeah we're all pitching in and searching for the buffalo so hopefully we find it no kitchen, no kitchen today they're getting sandwiches for lunch <laughs> we're looking for buffalo meat for dinner <laughs> He's looking for camp meat for dinner. <laughs> Saw a nice white spring back. So we're gonna go see if we can get on him. I want to shake off the dust off my shooting stick for once. A long day of just them sitting at the back of the truck, not shooting much. Let's go try our best now. But it's 
it's a nice copper. Beautiful male. Congratulations, Brian. Right. Thank you. Have you smelled the prong before? No. <laughs> Off you go, smell. Did you know the right in there? Yeah. <laughs> well, like, what does it smell? Ouch. Hmm. There's a different smell. Like, uh, what does it smell? I'm not sure. It doesn't stink, though. Sweet. Yeah. Like candy floss. It, something. Yeah. yeah. So, so we go ahead now for a white spring bug. And come to find out, my guide is colorblind. Where's the white one? Yeah, he doesn't look white. Mm -hmm. <laughs> colorblind. Thanks. Well, congratulations, Brian. Thank you. On a beautiful spring mark and a beautiful shot to, to finish it off. <laughs> we uh, jumped out of the truck and we initially saw white mm -hmm. and uh, came across this beautiful copper ram. Why don't you tell us a bit mm -hmm. more about how the day went and we were situated at the moment on the hunt. Yeah, the uh, well, we've been hunting buffalo with Becky here for about three days, and we've been on the chase of one that she got a bullet into, and uh, unfortunately, we're still still after him. But uh, the uh, it's kind of getting towards the end of night here, and we figured we'll pick him up in the morning. And uh, opportunity came for the springbuck, and we haven't ever shot one or been in an area that's had him before, so the opportunity presented itself. So. We took advantage of it, and it worked out well. Congratulations, sir. Yeah. That was a real good shot. <laughs> Thank you. Did it good. <laughs> side of the mountain grazing and uh, far off to the side we saw two bulls and uh, we saw them with the drones and that one bull definitely looks like him he's got all the characteristics he's quite angry when he stood up he was limping a bit he's walking with a young bull they are about 400 yards out so uh, we're gonna go closer and see if we can inspect and nominate him as Becky's old bull and we're gonna shoot him. You racked one in. Yeah. 
Ja, dat was een beetje meer. Ik ga het niet meer. Ik ga het niet meer. Ik ga het niet meer. Kom dan. Geef mij patronen, Boera. Geef mij patronen. Oké, okay, Becky, kom met me. Geef mij patronen, geef mij patronen. Kom, Boera. Becky, Becky, kom. Keep with me, please. Oké, okay, let me just put a few in. Oké, okay, kom met me. Come with me. Stay on this side of me, please. Stop. Okay. We're gonna stand here. We're gonna put one shot through his lungs. You see his spine, where his lung area is supposed to be. I want you to put a shot through. Okay, let's go my shoulder. Okay. Okay, let's give him a bit. I think we're going to take it. Okay, wait for a moment. Just relax. Okay, push it in. Let the other case extract. Please. Yeah. Okay. Come take a shot with my 458. Oh shit, you already had one in. Oh, I did. <laughs> one at the chamber. Okay, come with me. Put your safety off. Come to the back side of him. Okay, he's still breathing. Come around, you take another shot in the lungs. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's good. Leave him back. We have them. We have them. Congratulations, man. Start of a bull. Congratulations, Let's Brian. This done. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna make sure. Yeah. Just put a round in there for me. Oh, yeah, she did. Okay, just keep on it. Okay, I'm gonna come around. Okay. Will it exploded on impact? Are you sure? Uh, what I think what happened was it exploded on impact and then the shrapnel went, yeah, it didn't get any penetration. You can feel 
Yeah, his legs are broken. Yeah, I know. Nothing. But it missed this shoulder blade, which is this area, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it missed it, went in between it, and maybe stopped right around here, which is a thick, meaty part. Yeah. What do you think about him? He's big. <laughs> He's really big. <laughs> He's beautiful. Yeah, he is. Houdini. Yeah, so, um, yeah, finally after four days, you know, just not knowing what the bullet did internally, um, you know, and sending the video clip around towards trusty outfitters, trusty PHs, and everybody just having a look at it. And um, finally got here, and I, I think uh, the bullet had to explode on impact and, and just didn't penetrate all the way to the lungs and um, the shot was not that bad I think if it was a little bit heavier bullet you know solid lead bullet core bullet I think it would definitely nick some lung maybe even this bullet nicked some lung but you never know with these buffalo um, I mean they're so strong so you know the adrenaline on, on them are so high they can go with days with a wound yeah I, I couldn't believe he went after we just saw so much blood and I was fully expecting we'd walk in on him and then the next day and then the next day and then we didn't and then we started losing blood and that was frustrating oh. for sure so I'm glad that we got him to where he's at and he's down. <laughs> and I mean on the first day uh, you know the first couple of hundreds of meters while tracking him down uh, we saw big puddles of blood foamy blood and um, me and Brian and you were actually just discussing it. We were like, this pulls down definitely for sure. We're going to find him probably 500 yards out. And um, we found where he was laying down. And I think after laying down, the sand must have clocked up the wound. And we found one other blood spot and just couldn't find anymore. And purely went on luck. And luck turned out for yes. the Houdini bull. Yes, it did. <laughs> well, what a hunt. It was awesome time, awesome hunt. Finally got it all pulled together this morning. Did a great job. So I stayed in there. Yeah. Emotions, oh. roller coaster of emotions, up and down, and uh, finally, finally got her to pull together this morning. So yes, good. turned out to be a great hunt. Yeah, very good hunt. Yeah, awesome. So thank you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> awesome time. Awesome memories. Out in the field. Cheers. Cheers, Prost. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Congratulations on your Thank boss Thank you so much. Finally. <laughs> Celebrate. Uh, thanks for helping. <laughs> yes, thank you for helping. <laughs> okay, let's pour ourselves a well-deserved cold Amarula. started out going very well. We stalked in, we hiked, I don't know how many miles we put on and got to him and stalked in and amazingly within 50, 80 yards, I'm not sure. And all of us in a row and he lifted his head and my heart dropped to my toes. <laughs> It was probably one of the scariest moments leading up to that and I took a shot and then we spent the next four days looking for him so we brought choppers in and we had I don't know 20 30 people on the ground pushing looking for him still never found him and then we backed out and they kind of regrouped and they got I think there's three PHs involved trying mm -hmm. to help find him and um, just kind of... Well, the trackers end up crossing paths with yeah. him and thought they found him. 
Yeah, yeah. and he was angry. Yeah. <laughs> he was upset at that point because he was yeah. injured and stuff. And so anyway, we got on him and finally got the shot and took him down. And yeah. I had sleepless nights, a lot of tears. and <laughs> Yeah. But we got him, so. Four, four or five trackers bailing in the bush as he's coming <laughs> through. And the last one yeah. we saw. And, Ugh. I never seen a guy move so fast, no. but he bailed through over into the bush, and not you could hear the bulls go. And not only move so fast, he was about that high off <laughs> yeah, the ground. He was, he was scrambling. <laughs> he was, but not, it wasn't funny. But just reliving fact, that moment, it yeah, yeah, it was at funny. At the time, it wasn't. After the fact, it yeah. was. <laughs> so, but yeah. we finally got him and brought him home, and yep. he's going to go on the wall. Yeah, no, that was. That was our big mission for the trip is yeah. so the uh had a pretty good year um uh, so i i was lucky enough to get uh cape really nice cape buffalo in tanzania then our son got one in south africa in may so becky's responsibility on this trip <laughs> was to complete the trifecta yeah you know so in this last year we all three took took one and got that completed Okay, good afternoon. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, we want to see the Eva. Look of what? Yeah. Good afternoon. This is our skin shade now. In four days now, we were looking for this dagger boat. Now we got him around uh, okay. 8 o'clock. Now he is. We are busy preparing to put the skin on the salt before we take them to the text dummy. Now we are busy here going to see our first shot where did it went through, if it was sure on the lungs or what. But we are very pretty sure it was in the lungs, but it didn't burst it properly. So we're going to open it and see what is happening inside there. So the now the, the mission is to fill the springbuck slam. So we shot a copper springbuck right over here last night. And uh, now we're looking for, I guess, whatever the other three options may present themselves. And we're gonna see what what we might see and see if we can't add, a, add one or two into it. So we'll see how the evening goes, but looking for some springbuck. Yeah, primarily, and but they, if it's hot like this, they'll go into the water. <laughs> He's not shy. No. What is this? It's a leopard tortoise. Okay, Brian, we saw a couple of white blaze buck and, and, and wildebeest feeding together. It's going to be a difficult stalk. They are difficult to get onto. But um, let's wait, work our way slowly. It's basically going to be an opportunistic stalk. If we come across some spring buck, look through them, come across some white blaze buck ramp, look through them. And um, I think uh, it will be a nice icing on the cake after this morning. All right, that would. So let's go try. All right. <laughs>
Yeah. And it's a nice smell. Look at the mass on him. Secondary growth. He's all smoothed out. Well, oh, Brian, congratulations, man. <laughs> Right. On a stunning shot. Thank you. And uh, <laughs> I think our pa plan panned out to be successful. It worked. Yeah. It did. Why don't you tell us a little bit more what happened and your shot placement, etc. Yeah. Right. The uh, well, we were working around, uh, kind of working through this grassy area, this flatland down here, uh, looking for either white uh, blazebuck or uh, one of the uh, <laughs> springbucks. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and. Uh, Saw this big herd and kind of waited for them, and they finally started working our way. And this, there's a couple of really nice males stepped out in fairly close range, believe it or not. And so, end up kind of getting him quartered away and took him down real quick. And the 6 5 Creedmoor did its job again. <laughs> it's uh, done well for us. Yeah. It's, did it again. For sure. <laughs> Tonight we have some beef sorties and chicken sorties and I have a springbok steak that I've marinated with honey and mustard and beef steak. Ryan showed us the springbok we're having tonight. <laughs> it's a nice, I think it was a proper springbok. We're having caramel flavored Caramel flavored, caramel -flavored steak tonight. <laughs> I want to try everything, but it's too dry. Beef. That's the beef stay. As long as you'll eat what I know. That's a flash flash of beef. That's it. Good morning, it's a nice and chilly morning out. So we're heading down uh, to a ranch where there's uh, black springbuck, common springbuck and a hell of a lot of uh, black wildebeest. So we're gonna see what we can get and, uh, and follow up from there. It's like a body, body wise it looks kind of big. Well, we're still after some springback, um, but we saw about 15 other things out here. <laughs> Ostrich, wildebeest, kudu, hard, um, no, not hard to beast. Uh, I'm on a bike. <laughs> All sorts of stuff. <laughs> Okay, so Brian, let's follow this ridge line here from the saddle and uh, we're going to just follow, see if we can see that big male there.
Over. Closing down now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that is so, and it's so soft. Yeah. Brian, congratulations, man. All right. <laughs> on Thank a you. beautiful springbok. We were on our way back to the truck and uh, <laughs> we saw the one and stalked him on, I don't know, 20, 30 yards. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, this one, and what a shot you put on him. Why don't you tell us a little bit more yeah. about how the hunt went? The, uh, well, we came into this big valley, this big open valley, and kind of worked around and the wind didn't really participate for us the best, so we we're kind of working our way back around, and uh, then we just got in on, on one, actually missed, <laughs> and uh, circled back around. We're gonna head to the truck to get a work around the, the valley to the other side and put the wind in our favor, and lo and behold, we're back at the truck, and we see this one cutting across, so uh, nice little ram, so we took the opportunity when it presented itself. Yeah. <laughs> Oster jag and a feather. And this thing is heavy. I cannot believe how heavy it is. It looks like a cantaloupe. Yeah, a little baby one. It's so awesome. Oh, I see the black one there, so let's just follow this brush line up. So, we saw a lot of spring back in here. There's several black ones over here, so we're looking for a black male. We've got to get a black and a white yet to hit the grand slam. So we're off for the black one right now. What did you see? Nice male, man. Yeah. Congrats. Nice. <laughs> yes, he was. He's, he was dodging us and didn't dodge enough. <laughs> didn't dodge this bullet. Brian, congratulations <laughs> once again. Yeah. This guy gave us hell. He was <laughs> up and down with the head and yeah. just too many eyes. And we took a shot on him, and uh, we all thought it was a miss. <laughs> And uh, we came across him again, and he was standing underneath yeah. the tree and shot him perfectly. And we came in and saw that yeah. the first shot was actually hit. Yeah. So, yeah, beautiful shot. Congratulations. Yeah. Tell us a little bit more. Yeah, well, we chased him all over the county, that's for sure. And just too many eyes and too many around and too much brush. And every time you get an opportunity to get set up, he was on the move again. Mm. <laughs> there, there's definitely very skittish animals, and the herd moves and they go with them quick. So, but definitely a fun, fun day. Yeah. Chasing spring back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we decided to uh, break the hunt up a little bit. We had a successful couple of days. And uh, so we're heading to town. We're going to show them the historical diamond mine and uh, take them to a few shops. I know they want to buy a rugby jersey for their son uh, back home. And uh, so, yeah, let's go and uh, enjoy the afternoon and then get on hunting tomorrow morning again. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, get yep. some more get some more sun. Yeah. You need it. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. Go to the diamond mine. 
She's gonna try to buy the whole diamond mine. <laughs> Yes, that was very interesting yeah. to see that in. I had no idea yeah. some of that even existed here. All we know is the De Beers name. Yeah. <laughs> and that doesn't mean I need more De Beers. <laughs> Kimberly Bar. Wait, I'm waiting for a draft. <laughs> Service here's is slow. Okay, so uh, we at my mother's coffee shop, Seattle Coffee Company, and um, today is the national or regional um, barista competition, and they needed one judge. So luckily, I know one coffee lover. <laughs> And she's going to be the judge for the competition. Super excited! <laughs> okay, so we are here at Seattle Coffee Company in Kimberley and we are having a barista competition. Um, Becky will join us to be a judge today and yeah, let's see who's the winner. Good evening everyone, welcome at Seattle Coffee Kimberley. A very well, especially welcome to our US people. Rebecca, thank you for being a judge with us today and all my clients, thank you for being loyal to us every day. Becky's judging the barista contest, so we're judging our beer contest. <laughs> well, this was quite the experience doing a coffee judging at Seattle Coffee Company. We, the baristas come in and they make the coffees and they're timed and then they present you with pictures that they're going to make in the coffee and then we judge them off how the picture looked, how the foam looked. It was amazing. It was so much fun doing that. It was such a great experience and I learned a lot today from that. Okay, so today we are going to do a local wine tasting. It's from a brand called KWV. This brand doesn't only make wines, it makes gins, brandies, it makes a lot of stuff. It's also a very big company in South Africa. Um, it's produced in a small town called Parl in the Western Cape. Basically all our wines is coming from Cape Town. It's very, very good wines. Okay, so we are going to start from the side with the fruit. Oh, no, sorry. We're going to start on the side of the meat with the Merlot. Okay, so the Merlot is a soft blend with blackberry and redberry aromas and it pairs well with meat. Just carrying this wine. 
kind of a piece of salon. The next wine is the Pinotage. It's a very fruity wine and the aromas you will get here is raspberry and plum. Okay, so this was our wine tasting for tonight and I hope you guys enjoyed it. We did. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Alright, well today we had a great day here in South Africa. We went in and uh, first made a couple rounds and shot a couple of spring bucks this morning so we're one short of our slam and then uh, we went in town and explored the the diamond mines the world's largest man-made hole as we learn in the movie and then uh, the lovely wife of Rebecca was the international judge at the barista competition at the local coffee shop and uh, I'm not quite sure how that turned out but somebody eventually won and then we came back for a wine tasting of local South African wines that were hand selected by Zell. So it was a great day in yes. South Africa. Good morning, it's a little bit windy out. Um, so yeah, we are at another ranch. We're looking for some white springbok. There might be a little bit of a surprise awaiting us. And uh, yeah, let's hope the wind dies down and we can make our stock. So we'll work our way around the property, seeing what we, we get and we get the wind in our advantage and go from there. Let's see. Oh, I'm shooting. I don't know who gave you that memo. <laughs> but I am shooting something today. Well, we just drove into this valley up here. And a, uh, I don't know, three to five hundred spring buck. <laughs> we got elan, lace buck, zebras. Uh, I'm not sure. Elan, I think I saw. Maybe kudu. I'm hard to tell that far over. But just a ton of came out here. Good morning. Here we are at Colveria Mountain. We are busy looking for Hartman zebra. So we lot, we see a lot of species here, like a thousands of springbok and heart bears, placebok. So we are looking forward to finding our animal. We are looking here. I hope we're gonna get it and put the pail in it. Thank you. Probably just blew through him so quick. Just give him a minute. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Let's quickly take my. What just happened? <laughs> what are we waiting I don't. For? I don't know. <laughs> Why is it never an option for me to shoot? <laughs> Becky's getting all selfish with the rifle. I have not missed anything. I haven't missed anything. Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so we're waiting for zebra for Becky. And this police bug come by. We were looking at him and it turned out to be a really large place bug. And he's a yellow place bug, correct? So 
but something a little different than what we've had. And he was a nice male. So we switched gears and the zebra hunt went away. <laughs> Brian, congratulations, man. Thank you. What a hunt it was. I think uh, you can tell us a little bit more. It's your story, it's your animal. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're out here hunting, waiting for some zebra to come through for Becky. And uh, these three these bucks come strolling through and we noticed one was extremely large and never shot one this color before so took the opportunity to I guess take the moment <laughs> yeah. so, and you pinwheeled him what a perfect shot man yeah. he didn't even know what hit him yeah the uh, well we're under a shade tree waiting for the zebras for Becky and uh, so I just kind of a little Kentucky windage on him <laughs> although he wasn't that far but uh, used the tree as a rest and poke through it and line him up. So, rest is history. Becky, congratulations. It was a beautiful shot Thank you took you. on this Barton Mount Zebra. Um, we came out this morning and the um, wind was pumping and uh, we made several plans and none of them actually worked no. until up until now. Um, we were sitting underneath the tree and uh, waiting for them to come past and uh, eventually Brian, uh, some copper blaze buck came past and Brian shot a beautiful, beautiful ram. Really nice. Um, yeah, and finally we went into this brush line and they were feeding up towards the water trail and um, yeah, you, you took a shot in the, in the walk and you did what, it, what you have to do. Congratulations, why don't you tell us a little bit more? So we set out this morning to go after a zebra and got on, got on him, got off him, we stalked him, I don't know how far, <laughs> three, four hundred yards, <laughs> I don't know. And, they busted us and then we went and sat and then Brian shot his blaze buck and then we came around and made another plan and then got on these and stalked in and went after him and got a shot on him. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then uh, this morning she was able to tag into a zebra that she's been wanting for quite a while. She's kind of a, a zebra fan. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I don't know, it took a few hours and a, some different game plans and <laughs> finally ended up working out about noon, I guess, this morning. And uh, so she got her zebra. Yes, I'm excited about that. <laughs> yeah, Brian, we could have been having I'm waiting for my guide to say yes or no. I did tell you. She's not my guide. I guide you. Guide. <laughs> okay. So white springback and lo and behold, the house is right there and we ran into one. So we're gonna go. So we just exited the lodge and about two minutes after the lodge, we spot that large white springback. We were after these past couple of days. So if the opportunity presents itself, we're gonna take it. So we're gonna go around, when he's in our favor, see where they are and try to put a shot on him. It's the last one of his slam as well. <laughs> ah, you can come.
a little bit higher. About 5 inches higher than you want. There we go. Yes, this is beautiful. Brian, this is really beautiful. Yes, Huh? Yes, yes, yeah. Cool. Brian, congratulations. Thank I you. think on a spectacular trophy, yeah. quite unique with the wounds, milky and the black tips. Yeah. Um, shot him uh, last shot quite well. Yeah. And uh, what a way to end your safari. Yeah. Uh, you had Luke up hunting safaris last afternoon. <laughs> and uh, to last complete. Hour. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> to complete your slam. Yeah. And um, I don't think he looks bad as well so yeah, no. no i'm super pleased with it it's been a great hunt uh wife and i both had awesome time here just an abundance of wildlife uh all kinds of stuff we've never seen before we've never been able to had spring bucks so that was kind of my goal is to shoot the the four spring bucks and mm -hmm. you know get a slam and last hour yeah and topped it off with a, a kind of a champagne <laughs> <laughs> spring buck here he's He's pretty phenomenal with the black tips and the horns on him, just super unique. And I know I've never seen one like it. And when you hear the trackers and, and the, your guide talking about, oh, he's pretty unique, then he's probably really unique. <laughs> <laughs> so, but great memories, make great friends on these trips like this, like like we always do. And I really appreciate the, the hospitality well, and everything thank you. that you've given my wife and I. It's been really awesome. And we'll, uh, it's definitely a place we'll be back again someday. I hope to see you guys yeah. here. It's been up and downs. It's been <laughs> highs and lows, and yeah. and uh, emotional, rather emotional and exciting journey. Yeah. At the same time, and um, yes, yeah. yeah. What a safari! Just yeah. a great way to end of the year and and everything. So. Yeah. yeah. Like we always say, making great memories and great friends. So, did it did a lot in a week, and it's been been very memorable. <laughs> so. All right. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah. Then the other objective we had for this trip, uh, I say objective, the kind of goal, was to shoot a, for me to shoot a springbuck slam, which we've never shot springbuck just because of where we're at and what we're doing and so forth. And uh, so actually as of tonight, we finished, got my yeah. fourth, the white one, and a really cool, abnormal, really big white yeah, springbuck with like really white horns and then these black tips is just super cool and uh these are really big spring buck on top of it so yeah. kind of anxious to see how he measures out and stuff and not that we do it for the measuring but it's just kind of cool when you yeah. get something that unusual and unique and and that big so it was just kind of icing on the cake to finish the hunt off in the last basically hour or two of the hunt yeah. with uh, an animal so unique like that so So Brian, tell me, where are we? What are we doing? The uh, Game Over Taxidermy in, I'm not sure what town. <laughs> Kimberly. Kimberly, okay. I was assuming, but I wasn't sure. So we're just looking at options for taxidermy work and kind of mounts and styles and designs and to see what see what makes sense. So we got some nice stuff here so far. We just walked in. So first wall, <laughs> wall of shame. <laughs> about ready to check in for our flights uh. tomorrow at 10 o'clock and get home Sunday and go to work Monday morning but uh, we're gonna spend the day tomorrow golfing yeah we are uh, setting records on the golf course so we are actually are playing so well we've left the tournament behind us and we're about two holes ahead and uh, when they get done they'll see our scores and but we'll be gone so they can just mail us the checks well, we just finished our 18 holes at Kimberly Golf Course. Uh, made a full round, didn't even lose a golf ball. So I'm not sure if uh, that qualifies as a good round or not. But it does for me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, bro. Right. Thank, thank you for visiting us. Yeah. Thank you, cameraman. Well, last night in Africa yeah. again. So it always happens so quick. You get here the first night, and then all of a sudden, second night rolls in you're like man we got five more eight more days whatever it is and all of a sudden you're out the last night and you're like where'd the days go yeah i hate leaving just a great time here uh you know just great hosts great place great property we love the yes. the terrain and the geography of the property here um we've 
I guess actually other than Tanzania, all our hunts have been in South Africa and mm -hmm. the Mpopo region, which is heavy brush country, you know, thick cover, kind of depending on the area, but it, you know, not a lot of spot and stalk kind of activity generally. And uh, this place really gives you an opportunity to do a, some different kind of hunting and you see a lot of game, they have a ton of game around. Um, so it gives you an opportunity to kind of hunt like we really mm -hmm. like to hunt with doing a lot of glassing, you know, you know, looking at different animals and kind of, you know, making a game plan on what you want and going after it. And yeah. so it was uh, just really enjoyable time. And of course the hosts were DJ and Zelma, uh, Amazing. just phenomenal hosts and great chef here. The food's been awesome. The facilities are awesome. Um, place that we'll, we'll We'll be back at some point in time for sure, and it was just it was that enjoyable. So yes. and I think her her dad's plan on coming back, and yeah. who knows? We'll see how that what that all grows into. But yeah. uh, might be a bigger group than they're expecting. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> and then our friend Hollywood behind the camera. Oh yeah, yeah. It's been our sidekick the whole trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Taking great pictures and videos. I'm super excited to yeah. get a video and see. Yeah, We've we, never had that done before, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, we had uh, one other hunt that they had some video clips and kind of just put a short little clip for everybody together, yeah. but now a Nothing video like of the this. hunt and yeah. uh, everything. And uh, it actually worked out real well because you can see, you know, replay shot placements and, yeah. you know, like your bowl, we got a really good video clip and, you know, it was a spot on shot, but uh, it just didn't penetrate quite enough as it turns out and then yeah. found the bullet after you actually got the bull and um, the bullet performance looked right but just the angle and the, the anatomy of the bull it didn't didn't quite make it where it needed to make it and so yeah. but uh, anyways it's a bunch of bunch of interesting stories yeah. we could go on forever probably this has probably been my my most favorite hunt that we've done here so We'll another, be back. An, another wrap for Team Shiver Shield. Yes, yeah. for sure. <laughs>